Another East Tennessee customer having trouble with an appliance repairman who uses several different business names. Now this time he was paid to fix a dryer, but it failed and for a while he ignored his customer despite a guarantee. Six on your side consumer reporter Don Dare told you about the repairman a few weeks ago. Tonight there's new information, Don. Well, that's right, Bo. The repairman has no business license, at least not when we talk with him. In tonight's story, ironically, the repairman's customer was the former Knox County clerk whose office issues business licenses. The repairman is Phil Amos. He advertises his business on several online sites and specializes in fixing Kenmore appliances. Foster Arnett's Kenmore dryer has a problem. The drum bangs and thumps, even though it's been repaired. Well, it's doing exactly what it was doing when the guy came and supposedly fixed it. Obviously, he didn't fix it. Remember this daily life in the Smokies? This is the guy who was supposed to have repaired it. He's Phil Lamus. This is a blog he posts. The president of the Better Business Bureau, Tony Binkley, found the video following numerous complaints about Amos's businesses. Foster Arnett's dryer was repaired by Amos under the business name of East Tennessee Appliance Repair Services. He came, uh, came by to fix it and took it apart and said he had just the right part he had put on his truck that morning and said he put that in and then he gave me the receipt. The receipt says parts $100, labor $401. The service came with a one-year warranty. About four weeks later, it started making the noise all over again. I tried to call him, and the number he gave me, nobody ever answers the phone. It never worked from the day he put it in. Patsy hired Amos to fix her refrigerator in January. This is her old Kenmore. She got rid of it, she says, because Amos never fixed it after two attempts. He returned the full amount, $711, on August 30th. The business name Amos used at Patsy's home was Knox County Appliance and not East Tennessee Appliance Repair Services. And I see these bills are uh, pretty much exactly like mine with the same handwriting, uh, one-year warranty. Foster says his bill, like Patsy's, does not include sales tax, but it's supposed to. And it should say parts, labor, and then before he totals it, there should be a place down here where he's paid or he's charged the taxes on it and then the total all the way at the bottom. As the former county clerk for Knox County, you know what the rules are. Yes, I do, and I don't think they've changed since I left office. I ran him uh, through, or had the clerk's office run him through, and he does not have um, a Tennessee business tax or a Knox County business tax uh, yes. license. We looked at Foster and Patsy's bills, plus a third one given to us by the BBB. They include three different business names, and no sales tax is included. Yes, absolutely, he's supposed to be charging taxes on it. And so what he's doing is charging whatever he deems necessary, and, and he's, not, he's not doing his due diligence and paying what every other business owner does, and that is pay their taxes. Hi, is this Mr. Amos? Yes, it is. We got in touch with Phil Amos, and he remembered placing that part at Foster Arnett's home. You go by three different business names. Why do you use different business names? That's the way we always did it. The main company name is Knox County Appliance. So your, your business tax license is in what county? This is Superior County. However, the Sevier County Clerk's Office tells Six on Your Side none of the business names Amos uses are registered. Finally, with no sales tax added to the receipts, we asked him, how does he square that with the state? Whatever the labor is, you take the part away from it, and then we bring the, the tax off the part of it. Two days after talking with Amos, he left this note and cash at Foster Arnett's home. 80, 90, 95, 101, 501 dollars. He refunded all of my money to the penny, but he's still not doing the right thing. Not doing the right thing. That means Phil Amos doesn't have a business tax license. Amos told Six on Your Side he moved to Tennessee from Indiana last December where he claimed he had a business license, but admitted he hasn't yet filled out the paperwork in Sevier County where he lives. But Amos said he has every intention to get that done. He also told us he's not out to cheat anyone, that he tries to keep everyone happy. And so far, he has returned over $1,100 to two of his former customers. And we're glad we could help. Bo?
So are we. Nice job, Don. If you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email at ddarrettwate.com or give him a call, 865-633-6923.